It's time for a top 10 and this time we're gonna do it a little bit more themed and today we have top 10 mushroom biome seeds for Minecraft. And I guarantee you this isn't just any top 10 seeds video. It took me literally over two months to compile the seeds that you will see today. So originally I was actually gonna have 10 seeds on this video but I guess this guy's right. Is it all go under mentioned that 10 seeds might be a bit too much to digest at once and then uh, I guess he's right. Five seeds and spending a little more time on each probably is better. I agree. Another follower of mine with the name Anonymous also mentioned that yeah try and keep the videos a bit shorter and yes I agree. Unfortunately I already recorded this video as a 10 seed video so what I'll do here is I'll split it in two. This video will have seeds number one to five and in about a few days I'll post seeds number six to ten. And without further ado seeds number one to five and yes Yes, I actually do keep some of the best ones early. I do. Seed number one, and let's start with something familiar. This is the seed number on your screen. It's also on the video description, so you can copy paste, make sure you don't get the numbers wrong. Very nice little enclave here, a little walkway leading to this nice part of the mushroom biome. As you turn around, this walkway reveals this super awesome village. Check out that ravine splitting the village in two. Check out the floating houses over here as well. This seed has literally got it all. I, I mean, okay, this house, this wasn't fully floating. There was a uh, dirt here and here, if I remember correctly. Uh, but this one here, this one was originally like this. It's completely fully floating. You even have that floating campfire. Very cool. You look down below. There's a tree in a ravine, which does not happen very often. The reason why it generated this way is because this taiga tree, no, it's a spruce tree. Is it a spruce tree? Let me just make sure so I don't make a fool out of myself. A spruce tree, right. So it generated because of the village. So that tree is supposed to be somewhere up here. Instead, it generated way down in that ravine. So very cool things going on here. And well, again, it's right by a mushroom biome. Super cool ravine. And check out the overall scenery. Uh, oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, to the right is a giant tree taiga uh, biome, which is also one of the rarest biomes in game. So it's an incredible combination. Two super rare biomes with an incredible village in the middle. Now, if you've been following this channel for a bit, you'll know this seed is not new. I've posted this in one of my earliest videos. Check out this villager ready to... Is he gonna jump down? Is he gonna jump down? Probably not. Oh, floating candlelight over there. And I think some over here as well. Yep. So it's a really cool glitchy seed, super rare biomes. Uh, again, uh, if you've been on this channel quite a bit, you'll know it's not a new seed. I have uh, featured this seed in one of my earliest videos but it's so good that it has to make it to the top 10 we'll just put it at number 10 and to top it off we have this awesome uh, ruined portal right by the mushroom biome that you saw on the intro of the video and on top of that behind me is a snow biome and if we go just a little bit towards the side of that village earlier there's actually a badlands biome as well which we should be able to see in a moment and there it is badlands biome right on that side so too many rare things that spawn. This seed is super. Not to mention mushroom biomes are awesome because you get, well, easy food source as well as, well, I guess one of the rarest types of, well, uh, cows in game naturally. And mobs do not spawn on the mushroom biome. But of course, if you have land attached to it, mobs can spawn there and then walk into your biome. But you can wall it off if you want. But then again, uh, they're not they're not really that scary right so we're gonna have timestamps on this video so check the timeline below me to know where it, each seed ends there will be clear separation as well I'll tell you when a seed ends of course and on the top left of the screen is the coordinates of the locations that I am on now we're still on the same seed because there's a few more awesome things that go with this seed now check out this super glitchy desert village it's partially in a forest biome partially in a desert biome and partially in a badlands biome as well not too far from spawn amazing sceneries, tons of biomes, nice floating island, very magical looking in the distance. So many biomes surrounding this by the way, we got forest wooded hills, we've got swamp biomes, uh, I think swamp biome hills in the back as well, plains biome, uh, well gra mountains biome, yeah is that gravelly mountains? Probably is. Badlands biome and well it's just, it's just so many good things in this bit over here. And a lot of the structures actually generated into the water areas which makes things look even better. I always love when you have villages like this. It's like a desert oasis like all these brown looking structures but with the contrast of the wonderful greens it just looks amazing. Okay, let's go from this village to the next point of interest. We'll just fly there because it's very close. All you gotta do is just turn around and over on the swamps over here, you've got a double witch hut. By the way, this is what people coin a god tier seed, which means it has all the important biomes within 2000 blocks radius of spawn and you have a double witch hut uh, within 200 blocks of each other, uh, which means this one here and then another one on that side over there. You can see the roof just behind those trees where my crosshair is pointing at, which means this is a great candidate for making well, witch farms. 
uh, which is a very massive build, by the way. And another cool thing here is between the two witch huts, you actually have this awesome portal, which is partially submerged and also has some vegetation on it from the swamp biome. Very cool. Maybe some cool loot as well. Well, not really. Not, not much cool loot in there, but this in itself is very good to have on the seed. And for redstone builders, well, it's essential to have a double witch hut. So very awesome to have in such a good location. And here, a little bit further away from spawn, around 2,500 blocks or so, something very cool. We have a plains village that is mostly in a, a swamp biome, which means you'll have a chance of generating swamp villagers if they breed over here. I know it's a bit far, but it's I, a swamp village is always very nice to have. This is seed number one. Thumbs up if you liked it. This is seed number two. This time, I'm gonna start with the world seed map first, just because it's so interesting. Now, first of all, it is a god tier seed again, which means all the important biomes near spawn. Well, this took a lot of hunting to find. This is a super seed. Now, check this out. We've got a shipwreck that is inland, I think, over here. It looks like it's all the way inland. We're gonna check that out. We've got a bamboo jungle biome ne very near spawn as well. A giant tree taiga biome. We've got a mushroom island in the middle of, well, a sort of a circular shaped area, almost like a hermit craft style seed except that you actually have openings to the other sides i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing but we will have a hermit craft seed as well on this video you've got one two three and four ocean monuments by spawn and if we zoom in over here uh, oh ice spikes as well by the way we'll sh show you that later if we zoom in the spawn is pretty awesome because you can start your quest island adventure style you've got a treasure chest right by your spawn over here and you've got tons of shipwrecks tons of treasures on these islands over here and not far from that around 700 blocks away you'll find yourself a snowy shore with this awesome village which sits by a badlands biome mushroom biome and ice spikes biome truly a rare combination let's check it out okay finally in game seed number two and here's your seed number again copy paste from the video description in case you mistype one of the numbers now you spawn on this lonely island over here and there is a treasure chest on this island as mentioned earlier all you got to do is just travel to the other side of this island over on this side over here and i actually marked it with a birch log just to make sure I don't get lost I hang on wait I, I I skipped past it I already marked it uh why is this so hard to find oh, I think it's over here right okay so that was where you were and treasure is right there under that birch lock over here so if you want some early game loot just dig down over here and there you have it three emeralds tons of gold lots of TNT to blow yourself up iron and gold bars not too bad at all oh four emeralds actually even better and I can't help but notice but right by this island you actually see a shipwreck that is well it's just sticking its head out like that so this is not hard to find at all and what I would do if you want to play legit is you just go here as this is a fully intact chip wreck, by the way, very rare to have it up uh, almost full like this. Only missing the middle masts over here, or maybe not. I think this is this is com completely fully intact actually. So what I would do is go to this shipwreck, get yourself your first buried treasure map, and that should set you off on your adventure. Now, assuming there's a buried treasure map here, there we go. So that should set you off. Aha, uh -huh, here's another interesting shipwreck. This one is very far into the swamp biome. I don't know how somebody would manage to get a ship over on this side. It's upside down. And let's just check out the loot, see if there's anything interesting in here. And another buried treasure map. I was hoping for diamonds, but maybe here? Nope. So imagine playing this server with your friends. All the biomes makes for a very good separation area if you want to make mega bases like the Hermitcraft seed. Here's another good candidate for a spot to build. You got a bamboo jungle not far from spawn. Well, you even have a jungle pyramid that is between the bamboo. So this is a pretty cool spot to build. Maybe make a little hermit house over on that side over there before you continue on and build your mega base. So we got another cool combo over here. Pillagers outpost right in front of you but right here we actually have an igloo right next to the pillagers outpost oh is he oh all right so he claimed it as his house i guess that's kind of cool so the pillagers are going back to their old ways and it's not just any igloo with basement variant which means you have your oh hang on yeah he's totally staying here and it's also the variant which actually has a basement this is a am i going down all right, he went out finally. Anyway, uh, it's also the variant that has the basement. Now, let me try and get down here. Sort of hard to get down for some reason. I gotta say, this one is pretty deep. It's, we're almost, what, like 30 blocks uh, from ground level. Uh, anyway, you've got your usual stuff going on here. Make them fight, it's uh, MMA time, and you can cure them later. 
Now there is a lot of diversity going on on this seed and further out, it's this is about, about 2k blocks away from spawn, you also have a savanna village by this awesome shattered savanna biome which uh, you may or may not know is probably my favorite biome in game and well it's good to know that we have a village right by the shattered savanna as well. Coordinates on your top left of course and finally let's go to the actual main attraction of this seed, the village right by the mushroom and the badlands biome but let's just have a quick look at this shattered savanna, it's bigger than I thought, yep it's definitely a lot bigger than I thought, that's pretty awesome. Very good candidate for making a mega base just in between these shattered savanna mountains that are basically surrounding you on all sides. Very good, I like this bit. Okay, here's the final village, and just before we go there, right by the shore is actually another treasure chest. And this time you actually have two diamonds, which is really, really good. Now, check out this village. This is definitely prime real estate on this seed. Massive Badlands biome on one side, but it's actually a Badlands Island. This doesn't really go anywhere, it's 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 gonna be just a small Badlands Island. Mushroom biome on that side, the village is right here, looks very charming. We'll just take a quick stroll through. Uh, it's it's not the biggest village around, actually it's it's quite, a, actually it's not, it's not small. It's not small, it's not small at all. So mushroom biome on that side, badlands over there, and if we actually travel that way, just beyond these little forests here, we also have an ice spikes biome, which makes for a crazy combo. Given the ice spikes is a little bit further out, it's over here, looks really, really good. But yeah, imagine that, having three of the rarest biomes surrounding your village or base area. That is just super. Back at the village, not sure if you noticed, but between this snow bit and the Badlands area, we do have a ruined nether portal floating up on this area over here. Let's just check out if there's any good loot in the chest. Sometimes, if you're lucky, there's a silk touch axe or pickaxe, but this time we get a looting three sword, which ain't bad actually. Looting three is really good. Okay, I reckon that looks pretty good. Quick screenshot. And off we go to seed number three. Seed number three, seed number on your screen. So this is right where you spawn. This is incredible. I mean, check out that shattered savanna right there. Massive pillar of shattered savanna, just that one massive pillar. And in case you haven't noticed, we're already in the mushroom biome and we're already inside a village. So that in itself is already super awesome. Check out the waterfalls going down from the shattered savanna as well. But before we get to this spawn point, which is all that this seed is about, there's also some interesting things around the area. Let's just check them out super fast. Don't forget, coordinates are always on your top left. Now check out this area. It's quite rare to have a shattered savanna right by an eroded badlands biome. This bit over here I think looks spectacular. You have the normal badlands plus the badlands plateau meeting the uh, eroded badlands and then you have the shattered savanna right on the opposite end and you actually have bits of the badlands uh, blocks going up this shattered savanna which I think looks super because I mean you would never get uh, these badlands blocks going this high so this is pretty badass. This is a pretty cool spot to build other than your spawn location. Very nice towering piece of shattered savanna. Surrounding area is also very cool. I love the colors of Badlands biome. If you look at it from afar like this, it's like a painting. It's really like Bryce Canyon. It's It looks super awesome. You, you feel like you're somewhere in Arizona. Um, I think. I've only been there once, so I'm not too sure. Very nice oasis going on over on this side as well, but yeah, it's it's a super spot. This is a very nice spot, not far from spawn. Great candidate for building. This is really all about spawn, so let's get back to spawn, right? Okay, so we're right behind the spawn village. This is the shattered savanna that is right by our spawn. Check out the waterfalls. It's amazing. I mean, you have this overhang on that shattered savanna cliff. One tree up top to decorate the area, and then these waterfalls just look so natural. I love them. They're, it's... It's perfect. It, it, this looks great without shaders even, by the way. I mean, believe me, these seeds look great with shaders, but I've been mixing things up. Sometimes I do it with shaders, sometimes without. Now, right over here, facing that shattered savanna tower, we have the most awesome overground shipwreck. Why? Because it's glitched out and it's actually, uh, it's, it's a two-tone shipwreck. This, normally you'd have like a dark oak ship all the way up front but the other side is made out of spruce and jungle planks so it's sort of like two shipwrecks in one super rare makes for well well the, the more rare things there are in a seed the better to be honest now let's get to that village it's very close to this location it shouldn't be hard to find i mean we already see an iron golem patrolling over there and there we go folks this was where we spawned earlier, I was facing this wall over here. So you can see that everything is coming into place and everything is close to each other. That shipwreck is over there, you turn around and here is a super, 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 super awesome uh, taiga village inside a mushroom biome. It is literally integrated into the uh, the biome. You have one, two, three, four, 
five structures, no, six structures inside the mushroom biome. And this is all at spawn, keep in mind. So this is super, super awesome. That is seed number two. I hope you guys enjoyed, no wait, that is seed number three. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and let's go to seed number four. Right, seed number four. This one will be incredibly short. This one is from guide-minecraft.com and here's the seed number on your screen. So I don't claim to find uh, this seed, but it's interesting. I'll show you why. So this here behind these shrubs is where you spawn. Oh, that bird just popped up right there. That makes for a pretty cool shot. All right, so I mean, spawn in a jungle is always good. Now I'll just fly up so you get a better view and right in front of us is a mushroom biome and check it out. Number one, it's fully landlocked, as in there is no ocean biomes by this mushroom biome, which is very rare. And number two, it's probably the smallest mushroom biome I've ever seen. So this is really, really cool. I've actually only seen this seed today. And I'm not sure if guides-minecraft.com uh, found the seed on their own or if they took it from somewhere else, but I can only credit them because I don't know where they got it from. So if, if, if someone else actually discovered this, well, full credit to you. But unfortunately, it was not mentioned on guide-minecraft.com. But I mean, this is awesome. This is super rare, so it's. I think it deserves to be on this list. And of course, a quick screenshot. Oh damn, this is good. This is good. First things first, we got a fully intact shipwreck over there, right? It's fully intact except for the masts, but a very good place to build. And check this out, guys. This island, it's a fully jungle island, no other biome. So that is super rare, and most of it is also a bamboo biome. And you've also got bamboo jungle hills over on this side. I mean, it shows up on the top left of your screen as well, the name of the biomes. So that is a super cool addition th to this seed. It's got a good theme to it, right? So you've got, um, well, a tiny mushroom biome that that is landlocked and then you have a tiny jungle or bamboo jungle biome which is waterlocked so it's very interesting you've got these two biomes that are very irregularly p placed on the minecraft world very cool all right so that's it seed number four hope you guys liked it let's go to seed number five here is the seed number for the fifth seed of the day let's check out the map real quick though this is what it looks like now the reason why i'm showing you this is because it's another one of those great multiplayer seeds just because of the amount of biomes and options that you have very close to spawn it is also a god tier seed you have your double witch huts over here you can see the coordinates on your screen you might have to squint maybe i'll just teleport there real quick later and show you and oh by the way this uh map application is called amids a-m-i-d-s-t a lot of people often ask in the comment section and you've also got a land log ocean monument over here which is pretty cool of course and we have nice spikes village over here bamboo jungle village and here is the main highlight over on this side but before we go there let's go to the other highlights first right back in the world this has the potential of being my favorite seed in this video perhaps perhaps because uh, i remember uh, searching for this a very long time ago and I was very impressed with the mushroom village. Anyway, this is spawn. It's not bad. You've got a snow village over here right next to a jungle biome. Very nice build area over here. This little lake with the modified... Is that a modified jungle or a jungle? It should be jungle hills. Let me just uh, go past it real quick. No, it's, an, it's a normal jungle biome, but anyway, it's a great looking cliff. So this is a good candidate for your starting home. Maybe build a cliff house, something interesting, or maybe build something on top of the waters. Right, so here is an interesting fully landlocked ocean monument. It's also very close to land, so uh, easy escape routes should things get really sticky for you. And it's also surrounded by pretty rare biomes. You've got the giant tree taiga biome on one side, and if you look to your left, you have ice spikes as well. So this is also an interesting place to build. Maybe somebody can make an aquatic base on your server, build something next to it, or maybe even convert this into uh, your base. Or as some people have done before, you can clear out the whole water area and make this overground that's also interesting but it's also it's also tons and tons of work this is also very close to spawn and i gotta say it's one of my favorite villages in this seed i mean check this out uh, how often do you see a snow village right next to a jungle yet alone a bamboo jungle and add that up with the fact that you have a lot of the structures generating inside of the bamboo jungle biome this is a super rare occurrence i gotta say it's really hard to find these i would have actually put this seed into a video just based on the merits of this village alone but wait till you see what else i have in store for you on this seed so over here we've got our double witch hut within 200 blocks so if you want to make a farm this is a great place to do it there's your second witch hut over here and it's also surrounded by some oops i I was meant to land on that building. It's also next to some mountains biomes, a badlands biome, as well as this awesome, pretty large, I guess, overground ruined portal. Let's check if there's any good loot. 
Aha, Silk Touch on the Golden Axe, that's not too bad. You can use it uh, to get to, you can Silk Touch Packed Ice with this. It, it, it actually works, so that's not too bad. And I guess it's pretty cool that this Witch Hut is, well, almost on a Badlands biome. Um, what's that guy doing taking a little dip? Anyway, uh, that is the Witch Hut, so let's go to the next point of interest on this seed. Okay, on these coordinates, we have a Coastal Snow Village. I mean, the village itself is so-so. I mean, it's nice that it's right by a beach. Now, the interesting thing here is that as I scroll to the right, it's actually a warm ocean biome, which is, well, sort of odd to have considering it's a very cold location. And check out how it glows if I turn this into midnight. I just love these warm ocean biomes. If you go to midnight, I mean, it's just awesome. All those sea lanterns glowing. It's a little bit dark because of my shaders. Let's go underwater. It's still dark. Well, I can't see anything on these shaders. Let's just turn, turn it off real quick. Okay, shaders off. And there you have it. This is midnight, pitch dark, and you can see all the light glowing from the waters. I think that looks pretty epic. Where was that village? Okay, there it is. So uh, very nice contradictions going on here, which uh, I think is a worthwhile mention for this location on this seed. Next one. Um, I'm gonna do a few seeds without shaders just to, you know, just to add some variety, just to, I guess, relax the eye a bit. I, I think Minecraft looks great with and without shaders, to be honest. On these coordinates over here, we have a very nice oasis village. Uh, we have, It's a desert village, but I don't even see any structures on the desert biome, to be honest. I mean, maybe this one, but still it's connected to green blocks and everything else is an awesome contrast. You have the nice browns with the greens around it and then it also has the awesome biome surrounding it. We've got some flowers over here. I'm not sure if that, that's probably a flower. Is that, is that a flower biome? Um, I'm too lazy to check, but having bad lands on one side and on the other but surrounded by planes on the other sides for uh, build locations. Again, it's another candidate for a good build on this seed. This is probably the furthest village away from spawn. It's a snow village and very nice ice spikes right behind it with some frozen lakes and also a mildly warmer biome next to it. Nice rivers surrounding the area. But other than that, um, I mean, that's all I wanna share about this bit. I mean, a lot of variety for a server-based seed Let's go to the main highlight. Right, there you have it. This is truly an amazing village, not too far from spawn at all. And check out all the things that you have here. You've got mine shafts all the way inside the village. You've got a nice water area from the Badlands biome, a nice little bit of plains biome just uh, sticking in the middle of nowhere over there. This is the embodiment of rarity. It's, it's, half of it is inside the mushroom biome over on this side and the other half is truly inside of the Badlands biome as well. So it's, it's very, very rare for this to generate. What you actually need is to have a village that generated on the small uh, sand patch but that occurs on the corners of the Badlands biome and then that's how the village basically generates because you cannot have a village generating on a mushroom biome. This is just for information. You also can't actually have villages generating on the water edges of a Badlands biome. For example, over here, that just doesn't happen. They will only generate if a Badlands biome actually meets with another biome and then you'll have this small patch of desert biome in the middle. It always generates if you have Badlands and another land-based biome and that's where you can have your villages. Um, since I took all my screenshots with the shaders earlier, I have to take this one with the shaders as well. So click and that is seed number five. Thumbs up if you liked it, let's go to number six. All right, that was seeds number one to five on this top 10. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. There's gonna be five more awesome ones, so stay subscribed, stay notified, and I'll post that one soon. And by the way, if I actually already posted the second part of the video, I'm gonna show it to you on that side, or that side, just uh, yeah, have a look at the thumbnail there. Anyway, thanks for watching, the name's Masbro. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.